podcast for Friday, May 31st. Okay, so we're about to wrap up May, wrap up the month. If you need to go back and take a listen to May's energy forecast to see how your life aligned with the energies, I'm gonna, definitely going to recommend that you do that. We are jumping into June here very shortly. Definitely going to be a totally different vibe. There is an astral forecast available for that June energy rundown. And of course, the zodiac forecast will be coming at you very shortly. Now, the moon is in Pisces here for the majority of the day. We are going to see the moon in Pisces go void, of course, at 10.56 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We're locking into Aries energy at 11.29 p.m. So we will be entering into a brand new month under the influence of this moon in Aries which means that we're jumping into something new. We're initiating something new. There's a new beginning that is awaiting us, and we're definitely going to have the hellfire in our heart, in our headspace, to push us through the blockages, the obstacles that, of course, are definitely going to try to stand in our way. There are 12 different aspects taking place here today. Ten of them are going to involve the moon. The moon in this Pisces energy, again, hypersensitive, very connected to our higher selves, to our imagination, to our creativity. We do have a tendency to get a little bit overwhelmed, especially with the subtle energies of our environment, of our emotional realm, the thought process of this Gemini season really cracking down very hard on us. This moon in Pisces wants us to wind down, find a relaxing spot, be able to process recent events from a higher mind state. The moon is going to semi-square, creating a little bit of tension and conflict with Pluto, the great transformer himself, retrograde in this Aquarius energy. So, of course, this isn't going to feel good. It's not supposed to. It's going to overwhelm us to the point where we just want to run away, where we want to avoid situations in reality, where we want to escape our certain circumstances at this point to just kind of curl up in a ball and let this particular energy pass. Now, we have Mercury, ruler of the mental plane, ruler of information, communication, how it is that we express ourselves, ruler over this Gemini season who happens to be in Taurus energy, coming up to bumping into teaming up with Uranus, the great awakener, also in this Taurus energy. This is definitely going to be a reset that is going to be felt, reason being. Uranus rules over the highest form of our intellect. Mercury rules over the lower form of our intellect. So there is an aha moment, a moment of genius, a breakdown slash breakthrough in epiphanies happening with this particular energy. It is going to kind of open up our headspace, understand where it is that we're feeling overwhelmed by the physical aspects in our physical realm, where it is that some unexpected information or unexpected events can come out of the woodwork and totally open up our mind to new ideas. A little bit of a detour, if you will, around some of the walls that we've been banging our head against. This is definitely going to inspire us. It is going to cluster at our headspace, so be prepared for that. However, we are going to have epiphanies that put us in a situation to try new things, to walk in a new path, to take on a different direction. So although there is this element of a breakdown, there is this element of also a breakthrough. Again, the pressure needs to build in that headspace, really kind of cluster effing, if you will, where it is that we have been reaching a point of stagnancy, a point of not being able to move on in our headspace, in our physical realm, because what it is that we've been doing is the same old, same old thing. We cannot continue on the path that we've been currently walking, doing the same old, same old and expecting different results. So this is definitely going to bring some anxiety, some head pressure, some nervous energy into our physical body, but it's also going to kind of open up the energetic meridians in our physical form. Again, if you have to take a listen to the Ascension forecast for this week, definitely recommend that you go do that. It's going to open us up, kind of cleanse us, purify us again under the moon and Pisces in order for us to kind of release some of those heavy thoughts that weighted emotion connected to those problematic areas of our lives free us up make us lighter make us brighter make us more excited to actually try something new the moon is then going to come up to bump into team up with saturn the Lord of Karma in this Pisces energy. And this is going to bring that earlier aspect between Mercury and Uranus down a couple of pegs. 
A lot of the reason is because the moon interacting with Saturn in this way is a little bit heavy. It's very serious, very somber, a little bit of a negative Nancy narrative, a little bit of a pessimistic point of view, and we're definitely feeling the weight of the world on our shoulders. So again, just as we reach a high high, we dive into a very low low. The point is, is that we have to find a common middle ground, a balancing point, if you will. This particular energy is going to have us very focused on some of the situations that have popped off very recently that feel very, I'm going to say conflicting and also feel like we don't have a solution to actually get out of them or get around them. We have to feel the heaviness in order to understand where it is that we're going to kind of free ourselves from this weight. And we also also have to feel what it is that we actually need to heal it can be very triggering can be very activating but it's going to put us in a situation to understand where it is that maybe some healing some growth some evolving needs to happen maybe some forgiveness some detox energy if you will with that release that purge of emotion that is definitely going to take place the moon then goes ahead, makes a positive interaction with Jupiter, the planet of growth, expansion, beliefs, abundance, and blessings in this Gemini energy. Now, this is a creative force energy. We coming out of these heavier aspects, now we're seeing things from a different set of eyes. We're seeing the problematic areas from a perspective that allows us to actually see solutions, allows us to see the opportunity to grow, to evolve, to heal, to challenge ourselves, to see it from a different perspective, to see different opportunities and options to spice things up and make things a little bit more exciting in our realm. This is restoring the optimism, the confidence that we need in order to challenge ourselves, again, to challenge the old ideas, the old perspectives, the old understandings, and really find our ourselves in a new exciting territory, especially where options and opportunities to move on and move forward are now presenting themselves. The moon is going to make a positive interaction first with Chiron, then with Mars, both in this Aries energy. Of course, they just had a conjunction here just a couple of days ago. That was a new kind of, I'm going to say, attitude, new mood, a new passion for us to move forward. Even if there is obstacles and challenges standing in our way, we are starting to build ourselves up in this new identity, this new version of self, and we are starting to tap into new passion, new excitement new desire to actually see new things come to life. And so this is a very inspiring, very refreshing, very restorative type of energy to kind of get us back into the positive mindset, the positive mood, the positive attitude. The moon is then going to sextile Uranus and then sextile Mercury, because of course those two just popped off here earlier in the day. This is going to be a very beneficial energy because it's opening us up to alleviating a lot of that heaviness, a lot of that weight, kind of releasing and purging, if you will, a lot of the problematic areas, the mental plane where we're getting blocked and banging our head against a wall. We're having some aha moments. We're shifting our perspective. We're opening up our mind. There are new ideas, new imagination creative energies kind of peeking in and we are definitely starting to see emotionally speaking where it is that we're feeling lighter and brighter our heart and our head the moon and mercury are on the same page they're working together to come up with solutions and this is going to require us to kind of try new things in a different way however we are rising to the challenge the moon is then going to make a positive interaction with Venus, the goddess of love, beauty, worth, pleasure, and money in this Gemini energy, very divided on her options and opportunities to be happy, to stabilize, to feel safe and secure and supported and encouraged to establish new wants, new needs, new desires. This is definitely putting us in a situation where we're a little bit more calm, a little bit kind of soothing those areas that get triggered and activated earlier on in the day. And we're aligning with our intuition and our higher self, our heart space, if you will, the soul space, if you will, to really navigate some of the options that we're currently on the fence about, that we're currently trying to kind of weigh the pros and cons about and find a common middle ground. 
Pluto, the great transformer himself, going to make a positive interaction with the North Node in Aries energy. This is an empowerment energy. This is a boss up energy. We're arriving at a solution. We're arriving at new ideas. We're arriving at a new place of power within ourselves to see where we can boss up, take control over our situation, especially over our mental plane, especially over our emotions and actually start seeing the pieces of the puzzle reveal a step, a move in a new direction. This is a beautiful energy. We're going to be feeling on top of the world. We're going to be receiving new insights, hidden details, information that help us put that path, that plan, that strategy together in a much better way. The moon is then going to make a positive interaction with the sun, who, of course, is shining a bright light in Gemini energy. The sun, the moon coming together in any kind of aspect is going to reveal a new emotional aha moment, a new realization, a new want, new need, new desire. However, the options are still very divided. We are in Gemini energy. There's a lot of creative force energy here. We're tapping into our imagination and our higher self. And then we're kind of dropping into our heart space to see what option is creating the happiest, the most exciting, the most inspiring type of energy, vibration and frequency within us. Again, we will not be informed as we need to be until the end of Gemini season. So all these little bits of hints and clues coming together, yes, helping us kind of lean towards one path, one choice point over the other, but also we are not receiving the amounts of clarity that we need to be fully sure, fully certain that this path, this choice, this decision is the right one to make at this present time. The last thing that we have going on here today is the moon coming up to, bumping into, teaming up with Neptune. Neptune rules over the Pisces energy at the 29th critical karmic degree. This is definitely going to bring on the feels. Yes, there's an element where, you know, we're feeling light and bright and we're feeling compassionate and we're feeling just elated and we're feeling a little bit mystical. We are also bearing the weight of what needs to be let go before we jump into this brand new cycle. We're tapping into new insight through our intuition. We are tapping into a new perspective by reviewing the wisdom, the knowledge that we've accumulated through tough love life lessons up until this point. There is this back and forth though, considering the fact that Pisces energy is about the two fish, one fish constantly chasing the other one, deconstructing what the other one is building and so there's a division there and again we're in gemini season where division of the mental plane reigns supreme so this particular reset can definitely come with some high vibes some magical thoughts some magical feelings some magical insights but it can also come with a heavy weight that we absolutely need to feel in order to heal in order to release in order to surrender before we move into this next chapter 10.55 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, we see the moon go void, of course, and we do lock into that Aries energy at 11.29 p.m.